today we're taking a closer look at the Mayer Optic Oreston 50mm f1.8. This lens was made in East Germany from 1960 to 1971. I found my copy at a local junk shop for $15. Unfortunately, it wasn't all perfect. The aperture was not working correctly due to oil on the blades, so I had to take it apart, clean the blades and put it back together. So what are some essentials about this lens? The aperture varies from f1.8 to f16. The aperture blades are straight, not rounded. So when you stub the lens down, you will see hexagonal shapes in your out of focus lights. The lens has six elements in four groups. It weighs approximately half a pound or 220 grams. It accepts filters with a 49 millimeter diameter. On the back, this lens has an M42 mount, which means that you can easily adapt it to modern mirrorless cameras. Here I'm using a cheap M42 to NEX adapter for Sony. Simply screw the lens on the adapter just like so, and you're ready to use this wonderful vintage lens on your mirrorless camera. And last but not least, this lens is single coated. So for those of you hoping for some multi coatings on the elements, you won't find them here. But nevertheless, this is a wonderful vintage lens and you will see why. And here are some reasons why this lens stands out from the crowd. Number one is the minimum focusing distance. This lens can focus down to 33 centimeters, which is quite special for a normal 50 millimeter lens. I have many other vintage 50mm lenses and not one can focus down to such a short distance. And as you can see from these examples, I've used it as a pseudo macro lens on several occasions. Number two, the long focus throw. The Oreston has a focus throw of 340 degrees. That's almost two full turns of the lens barrel. This might not be a feature appreciated by everyone, but it really suits my style of shooting because it allows me to be super precise with my focus, especially when I choose to photograph tiny creatures or small objects. A great quality for sure. Number three, background blur. Even though the Oraston's largest aperture is only f1.8, it could still deliver impressive out of focus blur that can compete with much faster and more expensive lenses. It creates great separation between your subject and its surroundings, and I personally find that really pleasing. Here's an example of the bokeh balls that this lens can produce. As you can see, the circles become more cat eye shaped towards the edges, but that is not something that bothers me, and I actually like the variety of shapes that it creates. Number four, build quality. The way most vintage lenses were built is really impressive, and the Oreston does not disappoint in this regard. The lens is made entirely out of metal and it feels really good in your hand. The fact that this lens is at least 50 years old and it performs as well as it does speaks very highly of its build quality. Number five, color rendition. Even though this lens is single coated, it can produce great colors with beautiful, rich tones. I'm always surprised by the magical hues that it delivers and it's never overly saturated or too dull. And this wraps up our quick overview of this wonderful vintage lens. If you're looking for a great 50mm lens that can be acquired very cheaply, then check out the Mare Optic Gorlitz Oreston. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here at Vintage Optics.